gained in translation. Now that the Russians and the Chinese, in their big stepbrother manner, have hacked their way to our souls, it is not ungratifying to think that amidst all my harvested personal data, my poems appear, translated perhaps to Cyrillic or Mandarin. Now I can boast that my work is available in a variety of languages. I like to think of my verses being read by a Russian mother to her little bubushka as they huddle on a chilly night in Moscow or Siberia or of scores of Chinese students transcribing my lines in their pictographic way, perhaps even tittering at bits of my humor should it manage to penetrate the semi-permeable language barrier. Anyway, I want you to know, that is, I want you all to know how deeply I appreciate the broadening of my audience.